Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday. Hope everyone has some good fishy plans for the weekend, but today I'm going to show you part two of the outdoor guppy tub situation. Stand by. Hey, right, fishy folks. I thought I'd bring out the thermometer out here so you can see the temperature has gone up about half a degree from the time we brought them inside <coughs> because this one's at 63. Really not too bad, I guess. I felt colder, to be honest, with my hand, but I guess, oh, 62.9. That's what I thought with my hand. No. Um, all right, well, I'm going to pull this, pull this tub inside, and I'm going to show you that as well. I already have one bucket full of water as well as all the plants. Um, I should have filmed it before I started messing with it because all the adults look like they were up at the top and quite a few fry. So there's definitely more fish in this one than the yellow. Um, I think I only had one or two females in the yellow. There's only one adult that I saw left. Um, in here I think I had three or four adults, <coughs> females, and probably two males. Um, you can see one of the big females right there maybe yeah kind of in the middle of the screen like right there yeah all right let's film this be right back all right fishy folks let's see we can't catch some fish and show them to you to be honest i can't see crap i'm going to take the thermometer out it already has some java moss on it put that over there Guess we're gonna catch out the rest of the duckweed or most of the rest of the duckweed. Down in there. Let's go for the Hail Mary again. What do you think? Oh, we got one. We got that yellow tailed female. Of course, she's in the dirt now, so you can't really see her, but. Oh, and we got a couple of fry. Look at that. There's like four fry I caught. I didn't even see them. Sweet. Let's do this. Y'all see the net full in there? Great. stone out I'm gonna put it in my pocket use it downstairs in this tank there is a ton of fish in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up the second bucket bring these buckets downstairs, let this settle, and then kind of film that for you guys. And then have my Adonis of a son bring this downstairs for me. Because once again, I'm old and weak. But still have the good looks and humor. The humor is what's most important. <coughs> I just, I keep seeing little tiny fry like, I think one of the moms dropped fry yesterday or maybe even last night, but they're tiny. So, you know, I'm going to have these tubs downstairs in my fish room all winter. Probably a good idea not to keep them empty, if you know what I mean. <coughs> eh, an air filter, an air filter, a sponge filter, and water, and plants, and fish. Pretty sure I could have some more uh, babies out of this thing in the basement. You know, I say that now, but I have plans. That whole tub that I moved for my auto water change system, there's room there for a rack. I think what I want to do is take the rack that's along the back wall when you first walk into the fish room and put that along the wall 
with the other rack, <coughs> but make one big one. See how that goes. I think that's what I want to do. Not sure yet. Not paying attention, the bucket's full. All right, I'm gonna go bring these downstairs. All right, fishy folks, here are some of the fish from the Green Cobra Guppy Pond. That red one was born outside. Um, I don't know where the big red male is. The one I used to try to catch by hand. Um, I don't think that's him. I think there's another one. <coughs> this is just a scoop or two full of fish that I could catch. This is fish from buckets that I, uh, you know, squeegee squeegeed. That's not even what it is. That I siphoned out. Um, and I still have the whole tub to pour in here, which um, I'm going to move after I eat my breakfast because I'm a little hungry. So that said, um, I'm going to pour these fish in, let them get settled, pour the uh, rest of the tub in, let that get settled, and I'll film this a little bit later. There's actually quite a bit of fish I siphoned up, now that I'm looking, which I knew what would happen. I really wasn't trying to avoid them, so. All right, fishy folks, hang in there. We're almost at the end. All right, fishy folks, to be quite honest, I brought these guys in on Monday. Today is Thursday morning. Oh, excuse my cough. I think it's just allergies. I appreciate everybody reaching out that I got to get that looked at. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's just allergies. Anywho, uh, this is the yellow Cobra uh, guppy tank. You can see it's still uh, dark. You know, I just think it's tannins or uh, green water from outside. But uh, the long and the short of it is, I believe I put one pair out there. Or maybe even just a female or two and there were at least two drops of fry because there's quite a bunch of difference actually there's i think that's new fry right there so there might have been a, a batch of fry that was dropped in here um, every time i try to count them obviously they move around and it's pretty hard to count but i would say there's probably 50 fry i probably brought in 30 or 40 fry not as good as i had wanted but um quite a bit of fry and so I'm gonna let them acclimate in here for a while and then I'm probably gonna combine these with the other yellow uh, guppies because um, quite frankly, you know, this guppy colony at 20 high, I can do it in a 10, so I don't really wanna waste the 20 high. Um, that said, you know, it's, uh, it's summer tubbing, that's what happens. I'm not even so sure that's the original female that I brought, at, brought out because um, she looks kind of small. She kind of looks a little jacked up too. I don't know. I don't know what that's from. Um, I do treat all of my outdoor guppy tubs like new fish, so they have gotten the trio of meds, the EM erythromycin, the General Cure, and the Ickex. I have them in stock. I buy them in bulk. I'm not gonna, you know, penny pinch over, you know, a couple bucks in meds. That's what I do. Do I need to? I've never gotten a definitive answer. I've also never got the answer whether it's good or bad to do that. Uh, you know, medicate. Some people say you only medicate when there's a problem. There's another uh, school of thought that says you quarantine and medicate no matter what, and that's the school that I uh, subscribe to. All right, let's take a look at the green cobra tank. Um, there is quite a bit more fish in here. I think I put more adult females in, in this one. I'm pretty sure I put like one male and two or three females and and there's quite a bit more fish they're kind of hiding in the back and in the weeds <coughs> um also this water is pretty dirty too so you know that's what happens um i am not what was i gonna say uh that red gorgeous red male i'm not so sure he wasn't born outside i'm not so sure he wasn't i don't think so i have to go back to the videotape maybe and check but whatever um, you can see there's probably three or four different size fry juveniles in this tank and the females look pretty plump I can tell you that that male with the Delta tail Was not I did not put him in there. He was born outside and that's a pretty nice looking fish um, When this water is all clear, hopefully we'll see them better as you know, I took about these are 20 gallon tanks I took about 18 gallons of 
pond water and put them in here and just let them get up to room temperature slowly. And then uh, they're hooked up to my auto water change system so they get a couple gallons a day water change. Um, you know, that's how it is. That's how I'm acclimating. <coughs> so that's it for the ponds. I will be bringing the mollies in this weekend. I just didn't have time and I was out there this morning and I did not see any adult mollies. And I didn't see any babies until like I was just about ready to give up and say, oh crap, I think I killed them all. But um, I did see a baby, so I'm confident that everybody's in there just chilling. It's pretty chilly this morning, and it, it didn't get above probably 65 yesterday here. So, um, you know, cold at night, not so warm during the day means those tubs, that tub out there is probably in the upper 50s, low 60s at best. So it's time to bring them in. I'll bring them in uh, probably Saturday, and uh, I'll show you that. I'm not so sure where I'm going to put them yet, but... Um, so that's it for the guppy tub season for me. Um, obviously, I'll do an update when these guys, uh, when this water clears up. And what I probably will do is offer these uh, as a special sale if you're interested in buying them. Um, you know, some of the benefits of, of guppy tub raising, obviously, is the sun... Uh, helps them, you know, color up differently. The fresh, fresh food every day, the bugs, the mosquito larva, that kind of crap. Um, and it's kind of cool to grow stuff outside, I think. But so that's it for the Guppy Tub update. Hope everyone has a great Fry Fry Friday. And uh, I apologize for not streaming yesterday, which is tonight actually. But uh, I gotta work. I've worked uh, Tuesday. I worked till about ten. Yesterday I left the office at ten thirty. And this morning, or this morning, and Thursday, I'm sure I'll be there until when? Till like 10 or 10.30 also. So, hey, you got to do what you got to do. That's it for now. Hope everyone has a spectacular day because it's Fry Fry Friday. Oh, I'll show you my current angel batch. Happy Fry Fry Friday, everyone. Guppy tub? What? See, now my head looks small. What the heck? All right, fishy folks. You want to see the second round of the... It's not a fight. It's not McGregor versus the other dude. Oh, I should probably know. Oh, uh, sh what's his name? The boxer. I don't know. Whatever. Mayweather. Some guppies over there that were growing in a pond. Want to see him? <laughs>